This is the Will Clayton Church of Christ in Humble, Texas. How is Christ the first in all things? Our Sunday morning message, Colossians 1, 12 through 19, is our base text. And this is March 12, 2023. This will be a part five. I gave you the wrong part number, Brother Frizz. And I mentioned to me last week, I said wrong number last. This is part five. This here. This portion here. I want to share something with you before we get too deep. Look at the book of Hebrews. You want to know what's wrong with your walk? Here goes an issue. Here goes one of the main issues. This is the Jews. Hundreds of years, as Paul dubbed them, we are by nature believers. This generation of Jews, not the ones you did and with not. By nature, at the time Paul writes, he says, by how we grow up, man, we are taught nothing but God. Not like the Gentiles. You got to go find that nonsense they talking about. Your job as a saint is to know God. Because the devil going to bring you all other information you need to know about denomination. He's going to make sure you get all that. You don't have to dig into that. Just know about God. Know what the answer is to God. What you should say. That's what we lack. Sometimes we got too much info on denomination and not enough on even what we're supposed to be telling them when they come with these old outlandish statements. Hebrews chapter 5. Here goes a problem with you and me. He said, why is he talking so much about Jesus? Because we don't know who Jesus is, some of us. I didn't say who. Hebrews 5. Verse 9. And being made perfect, he became the author of eternal salvation. Or to all them that obey him. You see that word made. That bothers people. See it bothers people. That as powerful as Christ is. He's got someone more powerful than him. That kicks him off. And controls what he knows. By feeding him the information he needs. When you get around people that teach different than that. You're around the fool. And that fool will show his colors at some point. By way of different doctrines and belief systems oozing out the mouth. Because I've got information that says someone made him perfect. Now I want somebody to break that text. Because we're going to deal with this word made if God let me live next time. M-A-D-E. We're going to deal with And it's Greek. And it's Old English and it's Modern English. Because this is a very powerful word. So somebody made. And guess what he becomes? The author of eternal salvation. You know what become means? For you to become something, that means you couldn't have been that before. You know, if you don't watch yourself, you'll become a fool before even the denominational world. Listening to some of the saints that's in the kingdom. I mean, I don't know what people are doing. I've made more mistakes than I can remember. When someone brings a mistake to my attention, I immediately go into search mode. Okay, well, what, you know, what you say? I mean, okay, let me see. I'm going to ask some questions. And then I go into it. And then I'm going to get the answer because God going to help me. I believe that. And he'll help you too. Verse 10, call of God. So who called them of God? And high priest after the order of Melchizedek. Hebrew writer going to deal with that more where he's going to show he didn't bring this upon himself. I don't know who's I don't know who's not able to understand this simple English, but it's bad because you need to speak with confidence. You need to know more about this than you know about your own name, your first name, and your family. You need to be able to break this down better than you know about your family and who you are because this will save your soul. So Paul gave it clear. He says, we're going to know just as we are known. People know you. And then you're supposed to know this information. Of whom we have many things to say. And hard to be uttered. Why? Seeing you're dull of hearing. Your hearing is dull. It's just dull. It's, it's, it's dull. Something dull. It should be sharp. And it's dull. It's, it's cloudy. If you're looking at it from a visual standpoint. For when the time you ought to be teaching. In the Hebrews writer's mind. This nation having the nature of knowing only about God and now having Christ's information, 
being baptized into the kingdom. This isn't to Hebrews that are not saints. This is to the saints. There's a shift. The Hebrew nation has become poison. So this is to the saints. You have need that one teach you. Watch this. Again. Which be the first principles of the oracles of God. And I become such as you have need of milk. And not of strong meat. For everyone that uses milk is unskillful. Now that's what he said. In the word of righteousness. For he is obeyed. Now you're not going to fix this. So if you're still dealing with. You don't think it's something wrong for you to have another woman and you married? Are you gay? Are you a woman? You got a side man? You don't have difficulty in this. Because you got to go back and drink some more milk on morals. How can you think you're going to be successful and not go to the church on the first day of the week? What, make, what, what would make you tell us you're going to make it anyhow? You don't call for worship. Some kind of way you've been excused. I can see if you're that sick. That's wonderful. You better be that sick. You better pray you that sick. Because it's going to be an issue for you. For everyone he says. That using milk is unskillful. In the word of righteousness. For he is obeyed. But strong meat belongs to them that are of full age. Even those who by reason of use have that senses exercise to discern both good and evil. So they, they put in that. See, when you put in an action, you put in an action. That's what happens. This is the result. You live it. How you think. No one knows that but God and you. And it's active. So now you can receive things about the Lord that are very strong. And see, Matthew 28. I want to show you something. You got a certain group of saints that do this. I don't think we should be arguing about certain things, brother, because, you know, uh, you know, there's people out here lost. People are hurting. So if you're on your way to hell in the church of Christ, are you not going to be hurting pretty soon when you die? So what about you? So let's see. So now that's a nice statement. Let's see what Jesus said. I'm pretty sure we can accept him. Matthew 28, 18. All powers given to me in heaven and in earth. Who said that? And Jesus came and spake unto them. Go you therefore and teach all nations, baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. That's his instruction. So who's going around here saying Jesus only? Now I'm looking now, I think now if he had said go ahead for teach all names, baptizing them in my name only. Now you got it. See, this verse right here stops it. Holding this church. You say, what does that mean to me? Because that's part of why you don't understand Christ. You don't know how to tell them, no, no. You don't understand. That means the character and authority. So you can look. Like you supposed to do. You have to look like God. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. So if you look like Christ in baptism and come out right, then you're going to have been baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So they're all in agreement. Nobody's separate from each other. And, and we'll do that. You can say all day long, Jesus only said, okay. You just let us know you lost. And we, we, we love you. But you'll never get us to work with you. And you're not making it to heaven. Well, I have no problem telling you that. That's what we're supposed to do. That is what we're supposed to do. People get mad at that because they know they're one of the ones not going to heaven. Verse 20. Teaching them to observe most of the stuff I told you. Look at all things. So this is the first teaching you get to be baptized. That is the, that is as milk as milk can get. You can't get no more milk than faith, repentance, confession, and baptism. That's as milk as milk can get. Now, you got to go and get all the stuff. Now, did Jesus teach us who he is? Mm-hmm. Did he teach us where he came from? Mm-hmm. Did he tell us where he was going? Mm-hmm. Did he tell us what is his source of authority? Mm-hmm. Did he tell us he's going to give it up one day back to the Father? Mm-hmm. So you got to know all that. So you don't have any time for this. Let's just go and baptize. No, 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 no. Your work stops when the Lord puts you to sleep. Until then, you 
teach the saints of God. But that's Paul's note. All things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I'm with you always, even to the end of the world. Amen. See, this is for people that's tired of fighting. Child, I'm tired of fighting. I just want peace. You, you would never want to go to heaven. If you would have saw that war in heaven, the man just fighting, and you see Satan get tossed out like a lightning bolt, you wouldn't want to go to heaven. You don't know how horrific that looked. The angelic hosts, sometimes they're shown so large, they're bigger than the earth. One foot is on the water, one foot is on land. Sometimes they're shown, they look just like a person. Sometimes they're shown their faces like a jewel. So bright you can hardly look. And they fighting, and you got two-thirds against one-third. You will be back. This place is horrible. But you read about it, and some people do get that image. And that's why they don't care about salvation. It was messed up in heaven. I heard, I heard a saint tell me that. Man, I don't know if I want to go to heaven. It was, it's messed up up there. I had war up there. That's where the trouble started. I must tell you how the saint tell me that. That didn't mean nothing to me. That was speaking in the air. That didn't mean nothing to me. It didn't bother me at all. And it shouldn't bother you. So now let's deal with the fact of that. If Jesus is not under the authority. When he says all power and authority is given me. It's not over God. If Jesus is not under the authority of a being he called God. A deity greater than him. Then he's a liar. And everybody else in the Bible, a bunch of liars, including Paul that wrote Corinthians. He's a big liar and a murderer. Let's add another one to him. He's a liar and a murderer. See, you're not going to be able to accept both. You get caught up in this denominational movement of trash they do, so be it. That was the case. Your soul was not meant to go because you chose in your heart to not go to heaven. Now, let's look at this. We've talked about several areas that are needed for us to grasp Christ. Now let's deal with this part of God. Jesus is a God. I'm going to make sure I put emphasis on that A. A God. And he's not the Father. Look at John chapter 20. Some people, I hate when people say I'm not saying that. Sometimes you'll tell them, yes you are. If you say one race is inferior to the other, you, you might as well somebody say, well, you present. So I'm not saying that, yes you are. You say one race is inferior to the other. So you prejudice. How would you respect that race if they're inferior? And you would treat them differently. You know, people think Words don't have power. Words didn't come from you and me. It come from God. Who taught Adam how to speak? God. <laughs> he spoke so well he named all animals. Those names he gave, you still use them to this day in their original form. Those languages are ancient and they've transferred those languages and you still use them to this day. That's why everybody calls a duck a duck in his own language. He doesn't call it a chicken. Because God gave the original language. You have to accept that, brother. It's so important. You know, this sounds simple, but it's, it's like a 747. When you, when you do not understand that Jesus in no way has been, never will be, and never can be equal to God in the sense of exactness. He can't because he said he wasn't. Look at John 20 and 26. After eight days, his disciples were within and Thomas with them. Then came Jesus, the doors being shut, and stood in the midst and said, Peace be unto you. Then Thomas said, to, and then said he to Thomas, Reach hither thy finger, and behold any, behold my hand. Reach hither thy hand, thrust it into my side, and be not faithless, but believing. Thomas asked, said to him, My Lord and my God. Now Thomas calls him God. Okay. He doesn't say Father, he doesn't say Holy Ghost, my God. Okay. Now, Jesus' next statement should be like the angel when John just bowed to him. Like Cornelius when he bowed to Peter. There should be a correction here. Then Jesus said to them, Thomas, say it not 
But I am not God. There's no one God. Is that in your Bible? It's not. You see how simple that was to kill a lot? The problem is you got you and me may have so much food in our life, you don't have time to worry about something like this. I'm trying to pay my bills. I'm trying to raise my kids. I'm trying to love my man. I'm trying to love my woman. I'm, I'm trying to give me another job. I'm trying to finish school. But when you when when you get something that just happens to you suddenly like that, and nothing you can do about it. Now, now, oh, oh, Father, Son, Holy Ghost, host of heaven. Any man can pray. Yeah, I know, but the law is lavish. He said in Proverbs, I'm going to mock you because I've been reaching for you morning and night, sending people to you to get you. You just keep on talking the nonsense you hear from these commentaries and things like that. How is a guy going to come up with a commentary? In the 1800s or 1900s. And all these other years we didn't know this till he said. So what happens to the rest of us? Got no scripture to back it. Just points to the scripture and says something. Oh, who told you you was Jesus? I don't care who, I don't care who it is you like. Bro. I could care less who you like. Me or anyone else. I don't care. I could care less who you like. How somebody going to come on the scene and tell you something that the Bible has never said or taught? But if they come on the scene and remind you of something you forgot that the Bible been teaching, that's your fault. You have to just see there's a big difference in that. God going to get sick and die like you. He going to get sick and be hard as a brick, stink, and you just everything. He's going to die. So why, would you, why would you do that? So he tells him no correction. He says, Time because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. So what does he believe? You are, and Jesus affirming, I am Lord and I am God. But I was not, that doesn't mean I'm the Father of the Holy Ghost. Blessed are they that have not seen and yet have believed. So we got to believe he is God and Lord, but not the Father and not the Holy Ghost. See, brethren, when your priority I'm going to tell you something. When your priority is even serving the saints over knowing what to do in the church, how to believe, you're going to hell. I don't know of hardly any Jews that were halfway trying to be right that weren't doing good works. They were all doing good works. Paul said they give fast, fast speeches. He said, but they lost. Choice word. Captivate the audience. Not because I don't believe the truth about the Lord. And did he told them in Matthew, you know not the scripture. That, that didn't mean they didn't read it. You don't know. You don't know what they mean. And you don't know the power of God. These are the things that you lack when you're lost. Not the scriptures. I, I don't know about that. I don't know what that means. Honey, I just love Jesus. You're a liar. You did not love. If you love Jesus, you know who he is. You'd be searching to find out who he is. You got a Jesus you love, but it's not the one in the Bible. It's just not the one in the Bible because it doesn't sound like the same one. So now we got that scripture. Let's get some more. Let's get some more. He does not say a God. It's not in the verse. My Lord and a God. So see, now if you take this only, you're going to say Jesus is God all by himself. See, this is the problem with stopping at a text that's called eisegesis, or it's called isolating a text, whatever term you want to use, you've isolated, and you want all answers from the one text. And that's your fault. That would be my fault. Because that he says, here a little, down a little, I'm a, I got it spread out. He says, that's how I wrote it. That's how I want it wrote. Why? I don't know, and I don't care. All I know is he said, that's how it is. You shouldn't be worried. You should be worried about do you know where the little is here and where the other little is there. Now let's look at John chapter 20 and verse 16. Now here goes an eye popper. Jesus said, okay, let's go back and get a little bit more. Jesus said unto her, Mary, she turned to herself and said unto him, Rabboni, which is the same mass. Now notice what John is doing. John defines in their time frame, for you and I, the essence of Rabboni, when a Jew said that to a person, my master. And that's what Jesus said, don't be known as this. Because, you know, that's me. 
And you know who the Pharisees, Sadducees, Herodians, lawyers, scribes, saints, women and men have been twisting scripture so many can't sit on say that no more. No one cares if they call John that. John is not Jesus. John has some correction. That's why he said, you should be baptizing me. John, no, man, I'm sin. I'm sin. I'm, you can be in the wilderness and eat all the locusts you want to hunt and you still going to sin. John knows that. He said, you should be baptizing me, man. You know, I got sin. But Jesus says, that's my title. He doesn't make the clouds turn orange and a voice come out. It just, that's my title. I'm saying, that's what he does. It's not a respect for Christ. It's just not a respect that. And so, he said, Jesus said to her, touch me not. When you look at this up, you'll see it means to hold on to. Okay. But I'm not yet ascended to my father. He's telling her, this is old English. That's how they would talk. You don't have to hold on to me. I'm, I'm, I, I haven't left yet. So he's resurrected, he's on earth, and he hasn't ascended to the Father yet. But go to my brethren and say unto them, I ascend unto... Now look, he says, now this is, this type of a term is to go tell them, I ascend. Not yet. But he doesn't say not yet. So when she leaves it, he just float up. No, he's going to meet with them several times. This is what you're supposed to study, brethren. I love you, but you've got to understand... He's not fixing to leave right now. So why is it this like that? Because he's saying, go tell him, I, I sin. I'm going to go up. But doesn't say like that. God not going to say something like you want him to say in any language. That's how he wants it said. Tell him I'm going to ascend. It doesn't, now you and I would say, tell them I'm going to ascend up. I shall ascend up. But this not you and I talking. Got a difference? So just leave it where it's at. He definitely doesn't leave now. <laughs> He's going to meet with them several times. Eat with them. He says, and say unto them, I send unto my father. Now watch the father that Jesus has. And your father. Now, this either means there's two fathers in heaven. But we got an issue now. Because he, 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 Paul lied and he feeds. Paul is nothing but a liar it seems. Lies on most scriptures you can count. He says only one God and one father of all. Was above all and through all and in you all. So, this doesn't mean there's two fathers. You have the same father. Jesus has the same father that you have and I have. That's going to be a bad word to handle if you're a sinner. Because you can't be somebody's father if you're not before them, greater than them, or brought them forth. See, we do we right there with the next part of this. You say, well, why would that matter? Because you're a liar. That's what it matters. You on the earth who are saying Jesus was not made in the spirit, brought forth less than the father, then sent down as a man, then going to be brought up and given all that power, which he spoke of in Matthew 28. And then he's going to lift the king up and he does not have the power to defeat death, the last enemy, without the father who says, I'm going to defeat your enemy. Now, I want somebody to ask me a question. And we're going to leave this thing on when we're through teaching this. I don't care where you live on earth. Ask me a question. Because I'm tired of people lying. Now, if you're too scared to say a word, don't teach, don't preach, don't be a saint. Don't go to hell. Because if you, if you are, the word got power, John 6.63. That's what the word means. You was made. You was created. You scared of created? Stop teaching because you're too scary to teach. What did the Lord say to the arm of Israel? First thing he do when dissecting, we get in, anybody. Who's scared? Go home. Who's scared? Go home. Who's scared? Go home. First group, get them out the way because they're going to mess up everything. Now let's see who's not right in the group. Scare folks out first. You're too scared to teach. This is an awesome task. You're going to suffer, attack, talked about. Finance will get wiped out like cotton in pockets. Whatever the devil going to do to break you, he's going to come at you. Because you talk too much about Jesus the right way. That's the problem. And some of us just scared to do that. But when you know your life was nothing until Christ came, 
Man, you'll say all day the truth. You know you wasn't nothing until Jesus came and lifted you up. Amen. Cleaned you up. Empowered you with the strength of truth. Now you say, hey, I want to tell you about Jesus. I want to tell you about Jesus. The truth about Jesus. I want to let you know he can change your filthy life. He can make you stop lying, stealing, getting high, being gay. He can turn you from being a crooked politician to a speak of nothing but truth. But if you don't want that, keep on rolling. Because you're going to come to the judgment regardless of what goes on. So one of the things you have to understand, I have to understand, brethren, is says so one father. Jesus says he's my father too. Now, however, he is your father. That's how he's Jesus' father. That's the problem right there. That's the problem. Baba, you start exterminating, you know what you find out when you exterminate? It's bugs in the house you didn't even know existed. You spray for roaches and spiders come balled up. Doodle bugs rolling out with no more life. You spray for roaches. Everything get cleaned up. That's how it's supposed to go. You don't come to Sunday service to be confused. You come to Sunday service to be enlightened and truth exposed. Even on you, the teacher. So that's one portion. And to my God, watch this, and your God. Now if God is one, that can't be no other supreme. Jesus got a God? How many people knew Jesus had a God? Now you ask that, people go, we all, yeah, I can't tell about we all on earth. Because I'm hearing some foolishness out of saints' mouth. See, you can't speak two things and it be true. Jesus got a God. Is it Kronos or Zeus? Vishnu? Who's this God? He says it's the same God you worship. Now that spirit that's in Jesus on the earth, is that a different spirit that came from out of heaven? See, now you're a real liar. You're making more than one Jesus. 2 Corinthians 11, 2 through 4, got you. You keep reading verse 13, you'll find out you work for the devil. You didn't know you had been bought out. Your company had been bought out. You are now employed for the devil because you sold out. That's a powerful reading. This isn't anyone saying it. This isn't any prophecy. He says, myself. See, this is a statement the Lord said, okay, now you got to say this on yourself. Son, you got to tell him. You got a God, and I'm it. So. Mary Magdalene came to told the disciples that she had seen the Lord, and he had spoken these things unto her. Did you see that? Did you see what she went and told him? She didn't go, I seen the Lord. He was talking like he was drunk. She didn't say that, did she? Talking about he had a God. Woo, I don't know what happened to Jesus. She came and told him the same word to read. Things unto her. So she went and spread. So why can't we spread this? You can always tell you with a bunch of weak saints in the church of Christ. Weak saints. And I'm going to tell you something, brethren. If you want to go to heaven, you better watch weak saints around you. Y'all hear me? They scared to go to these verses. Talk about everything. Scared of verse 17. Scared of what we read earlier. Verses 26. Uh, scared, scared, scared. It's like it don't exist in the Bible. Then he'll talk about the denomination. Say, I don't know how they don't know about Acts 19, 1 through 5. I don't know how you don't preach on John 20, 16, 17, 26 following. And then I think it's go to Hebrew. It's going to really get loose in Hebrews. You know why I want to talk about it? Because I'm one of the lies that say he's the father. I'm just incognito. I'm a stealth bomb. I'm going to blow y'all up. That's what they're doing. Come in and blow you up. Get you and get your money. Blow you up and get your money. Pill pillage you. Isn't that amazing? And we sit there and you wonder why the denomination lost. We lost so many of us in the church of Christ. 
You were just not all a brother accountable. You so busy trying to keep your man. I'm, I'm telling you what, your woman, your job, your house, your car, your health. You so busy tied up in that. Whatever he say, amen. Some people say amen for say amen for even say anything. Cause amen again. Girl, I watch him. He ain't said nothing yet. Say you're not even listening. Just rhetorical amen, like a button push, knee jerk amen. Listen to what the man's saying. If it's a woman teaching the class, listen. Listen. People come here with prestige, very seldom question. Very seldom question. Prestigious. His respect, respect is about the brotherhood. That's the one Jesus said you got to watch. Not that respect don't mean anything. He said you got to watch. Highly esteem, he said, the Lord doesn't appreciate. So it doesn't mean you not to be esteemed, but you just make sure what says is true. You'd be surprised with God, brother. Just listen to the doctrine. Not to worry about what he do in private or she. Or she. Listen to the doctrine. Because see, let me share something with you. You're going to reach a point in your life where you're going to know you're going to only get to heaven if the Lord lets you in. And it's nothing you and I can do to help each other get there. Nothing. You can teach a person all day until they believe it, that's it. So you can teach truth all day to each other, but until you believe it, it means enough. And you can't even believe it without the help of the Lord. Because he tells you, I give you both to will and to do of my good pleasure. The Philippians letter is clear. Paul says it's he. He says, so carry out your own soul salvation. Because he let you know it's God that give you both the will to do. He didn't say me, the apostolic people. No. The Lord gives you both two will, two things to do, and to do of his good pleasure. So you think you're gonna be able to, you think you're gonna be able to re, you think you're gonna be able to endure the punishment that Satan brings on you for turning to the Lord? You know the devil punishes you. You didn't know that? For obeying the law. You didn't know that? He punishes you. Ask Joel. Ask David. Punish you. Whoop you good. And the Lord God on heaven lets him. To see now what you're going to say. What you're going to say now? You know I let him hit you. What you going to say now? I can heal what he hit. So is you going to get mad at me because I let him hit you? You mad at me because I let him take one of your loved ones? You mad at me because I let your husband become a false doctrine teacher? You mad at me? You loved him. You was crazy about him. He's a false doctrine teacher now. So you going to stand with me or him? I give another man. The Lord said that. I give you houses, wives, children. I give you more. So now if you have faith, guess what? You will know. I, I can't stand with you because you teach false doctrine, bro. I can't stand with you. But see, a lot of women in the church of Christ, they just, they just sit right by the husband like little lemmings. Blind little lemming rats. Whatever he say, chirp, chirp, amen. I want to keep peace. You know. But when you die, you're just going to be dead. Exit stage left straight to hell where you belong. Torture, suffering. Crying and hot because you would not say, man, that's not in the Bible. How many women will go to the leadership and tell the leaders your husband is teaching false doctrine? I need to do something with him. Sister, you out of place. See? See, this how you know when you're with God or not. You will get no blessing from God for siding with your lying husband or your lying wife in doctrine. All your lying children, all your lying uncle. You need to understand what's going on in the kingdom of God. Is that you and I are being challenged to fight for your soul, your personal walk. Rise up and fight for your soul. Save yourself. That's what the instruction was to the preacher. Save thyself. And others, attachment, peas and cues, sweet peas and carrots, corn on the cob, mashed potato, but save yourself the main course. And others, if it's meant to be, they will be saved. That's all you got to do, brother. Your soul is critical. Just a couple more thoughts. We're going to wrap it up. Now let's go over to the heavy stuff. Come to heavy stuff now. 
Let's look at Hebrews. Yeah, a lot of people, I think we should be talking about, I know you do. I know you do think we should be talking about whatever you're going to say. But we're going to talk about this. Whenever it's my time. Till I exhaust this. Because I found out, you don't know who Jesus is, you're never going to heaven. That's what he came for. To tell you about him. So you have hope now in making it to heaven. Now look at Hebrews chapter 1. Now this is going to be consistent reading like a baby's milk bottle. All about Jesus. Now here is what you need to make it all about Jesus. But they won't. <laughs> won't make it all about Jesus. Well, the point where the Lord wants you to make it all about him. Hebrews 1, 1. God, with sundry times and in diverse matters, spake in the time past unto the fathers by the prophets, hath in these last days spoken unto us by his son, whom he had appointed heir of all things. He's going to inherit all things, but whom also he made world. So the Lord Father God made the world by Jesus, which means I empowered you. I gave you the knowledge, the wisdom and understanding on how to do. That's why Jesus is clear. I do what my father showed me. Say he showed me. I say what he showed. Jesus is clear. I'm a faithful son. I, I, I do what my father says. He said me and my father, we work here the two. We've been working. We never had took a, a, a Sabbath like y'all were thinking. You wouldn't be breathing no more. Who being the brightness of his glory. Christ is the brightness of the glory of of God and the express image of his person. You never hear this said about the Father. The Father is not the image of nothing. He is the image that Jesus wants to be like. While he was on earth and while he's in here, I'm going to be like him. I'm going to be like him. That's why I say I do the things he tells me. I know he's with me. I say the things he wants me to say. Upholding all things by the word of his power now, this is Christ when he had himself purged our sins by himself, sat down in the right hand and matched on high. He don't get the middle seat. He gets the right seat. Who got a problem with that? Well, you know, you know, you know, but you read this, this, I'm telling you, you all know, brethren, you make a lot of saints mad with this message. This message, this message makes a lot of sense. You'd be shocked how many saints hate Jesus' guts. Or they hate the Father. They hate that it's got to be Him. Why can't it just be Jesus? That's blasphemy. It's always been about the Father. Always ever shall be. And it makes people mad. I think Jesus have a little bit more glory. He the one by himself purging sin. Why get his son on the right? Because you're on the right side. And sit down until I make your image your foot. So I got to do this for you. You can't do it. Because I got this battle is so powerful. He said, you can't do it, Jesus. I'll do it for you. Because I got the power. I'll give it to you. See, this speech I'm saying now, oh man, people can think of ring my neck, they ring it right now. He blaspheming Jesus Christ. Jesus will put you in the middle of hell, metaphorically speaking, for making him more than the Father. Or making him the Father. He will put you in the hell. I'm just repeating what the Lord has told me. He says, being made, they're going to made again, we talked about, we're going we're gonna to wrestle with this word made, and then we're going to wrestle with this word like WWF next week. Made so much better than they, now, when you take language of any capacity, I don't care what language you speak, you use a single word made to two different beings, what does that tell you both were made? Anybody want to challenge that, please, you don't have to wait, Look, when we do this message and we sing that song, we'll Power this up one more time. You ask me any question you want right here. We won't even leave. That's always been the practice here. Just people don't ask questions sometimes. You can ask it private. I don't care. I say you think I'm going to lie. Ask it publicly. If I said something wrong, I'll be glad to fix it. You got two beings and you use one word made. And that word does not mean rank. It means to make. Now I want to know if he wasn't made, then the angel wasn't made. So he just, rank, he just ranks the angels. So the angels, here go the group. Jesus, Holy Ghost, the Father, and the angels are all equal. All start at the same time. 
more than triplets. I don't know what word you would use for something better than triplets. Uh, they're all the same. Nobody make nobody. It's just a ranking process. All spirits equal. It's just for some reason somebody says, hey, let's start ranking each other. That's what you hear taught. So now you think it's a mistake. It's a mistake when you first talk about it, then when you talk about it more. Once somebody says, I don't want to talk about it more, you threw, that's who you threw with. You don't want to talk about it more? Then we threw with you. We threw with you. Because you need to talk about this some more. Because you don't know what you're talking about. This is English. This is not no language to learn. Being made so much better than the angels. As he by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they. The name J-E-S-U-S C-H-R-I-S-T attached to this being makes that name special and makes him special because his image and his character is exact as God. But that doesn't make him God. I don't know nobody that would say a cop is the same as a rich. I haven't met nobody that ignorant yet that would say a copy is the same as original. Because that's why it's called a copy. Because there's one before it. It's so simple. It's such a simple thing. But sometimes a person will play on your intelligence and make you a fool, which you should be made, and so should I, if you start to discredit what words mean. See, these words, literal or figuratively, have a meaning. They apply to spirits and flesh, animals, trees. The original tree that the law made, that's the original tree. It's gone now. Even the ones that grew back after the flood, they gone now. You think they still exist? That's the original tree. You got seeds from it, seeds from it, seeds from it. The original tree. It's so simple. For he says, unto which of the angels, now watch this. Said he at any time, what's this excellent name? Thou art my son. See, now you look and you see name, but you understand what's attached. For unto which the angel said any time. Notice, notice the comparison the father is. This is so critical. The Father is comparing Jesus to the angelic host and showing they're great and they're way greater than us, but he's greater than them because I made him greater than them. Boy, you know what, man? I'm going to tell you, I love y'all so much, brethren. I really do. I know you love me, but I'm telling you something. You don't watch your soul. Satan will come and you'll be, you'll be in his bed. Let me tell you something about the devil. He's a pimp. Once you go to bed with him, he's going to put you on the street. That's what all the pimps going to do. You know what I'm talking about. Don't listen to that. I don't care who don't like it. You get in the bed, and I know the law don't care because he said Israel was a whore and opened her knees. That's the term. Her knees to everybody. Now, see, we don't like. See, we get to the point we can't repeat what the Bible says. Scared to say ass. Talking about a donkey. Scared to say it. It's in the book. Scared to say it. But we'll say it when we're cussing somebody out. Amen. I know I said something not. We can't repeat it because it's in the Bible. But I'll call you one on the street and tell God I'm sorry later. I don't have to apologize for this. It's real Sunday. It's real Sunday. All day long. All you got to do, let the words flow. Just be ready to be hated and disliked. And told, well, you know you're not perfect. I never said I was. I never, you ain't never heard that out of my mouth. I'm perfect like perfect that I have no more room for growth. I'm just telling, I'm going to repeat this word before I hit this dirt. Make sure I know one thing. Whoever I've been talking to, they know what God said. All I did is repeat. All I'm doing now is encouraging to accept what we've read. I'm not all to one word. The comparison is the son one to the angelic host. Whatever they may be. He said, for unto which of the anchor, the word means messengers. So which messenger in heaven? He said, anytime, thou art my son, this day have I begotten. See, that phrase, say, this is it. I never said to nobody. When I made you, I told you my son. And the Bible says, you're the only one I made like this. I could care less. What brother sister on the earth quit dealing with me, try to call me a Jehovah? I, I never loved none of y'all that much anyway. On the planet, God may include my mother and dad who did. I've never loved anyone more than Christ in the sense of when I'm walking right. Of course, in sin, it's different. So I could care less who receives me. I didn't come to the earth to be received. I came to the earth to do the will of the Lord. That's what he says in the Old Testament. And then he may lift me up. And it's a big M-A-Y on that. 
He's still going to be God and righteous if he puts me in the middle of hell. It doesn't matter. He's still God and righteous. My salvation has nothing to do with making him right. And neither is yours. It gets to a point where you have to ask God for courage to say what he said. Because it will make somebody want to knock your head off. It's the way it is. And again, this is the second thing he says. I'll be to him a father and he shall be to me a son. He said, this is how it's going to be. Your relationship and mine, the day I made you, you're going to be a son and I'm going to be the father. So what does he say? Why did he come when he comes to her? I go to my father and your father, my God and your God. Very simple term. Very simple. Very simple. Very simple. And again, when he bring it in the first begotten into the world. See, now we're talking about bringing it to the world. He said, and let all the angels of God worship him. So he makes sure, know, okay, now the state he is, now I need y'all to worship him. Worship him. Like a God. A God. Because I'm the God. This is, man. Why you, I'm going to tell you something. This here. As long as I'm in the church of Christ, I heard very few brothers deal with these where they always stop at the top so they can get you baptized. And the body of saints, just big old freezer full of meat. The Lord and the Lord, they just won't open it for nothing. Won't open it for nothing. But he'll get somebody pregnant at the church house. I know I'm finna talk now. He'll get high with you. He'll get drunk with you. He'll look at you when he's preaching. Look at your legs, look at your body. Oh yeah, he'll take stuff from you, but he will not get into the doctrine of Jesus Christ. Because why? Well, I'm not with him like that. He'll send you to hell by locking the church house. You know, you're a hypocrite if you talk about Hezekiah's father. Don't talk about the brothers that locked church. You are a hypocrite. I never called nobody name. I never said nobody here. You are a hypocrite from hell if you talk about Hezekiah's father and do not criticize the burden that locked the church doors. We know what you are. Now, I didn't say nobody now. Everybody should love me. I didn't say nothing. He says, and again, when he brings first God into the world, that all the angels of God worship. He let them know, now y'all going to worship. He's your God. Worship. He's your God. I want you to worship him. So he tells them, I need y'all to worship him. Now, if he's not a God, He's crazy. Because he said, I got a God. Same one you got. So that kills the liars. He said that secondly, this is a God that's being worshipped that's made. Yeah, he made. Because I see the word M-A-D-E. Now, if he wasn't made, then the angels weren't made. So they've all been here forever. Angelical. Everybody been, everybody, heaven was full already. It's already been full. Since, since there is no beginning. Angels always been. He didn't make the angels. He used the same, see, when you use the same word for two people, you made both. I'd like to see somebody break this down. I've been wanting somebody to break this down for me for all my life since I've been in church. I haven't been nobody that could break down M-A-D. Fold that M-A-D-E. You use it every day. Can't break it down. Look it up in old English. Child in Latin anyone. It's going to say the same thing. This is something made. Brought forth. Then he brought the angels forth. They always existed. They're all equal. Everybody's equal. There is no greater. So why would they have to do what he saved? Maybe the devil was right. Maybe it is talk on the floor up in heaven. He should have left. I mean, after all, he's equal to God, right? He got a right to have an opinion. They're all equal. <laughs> See, nobody can explain how does the Father get to be at the top. So, everybody can accept that because Satan's bad. But what about the good angels? The good angels are low. Then this being who's not an angel. He's not an angel. And so he says, he's different. I made him different. See, when you stop, brother, that's how close you are to hell and heaven. You're right there, all of us. At any time, you can go the wrong way, listening to people. But I just read that. So that needs to be broke down. I need a commentary. So I need to go read. I need to go do a commentary study on M-A-D-E, right? God help us, Jesus. And of the angels, he said, who maketh his angel spirits and his ministers a flame of fire. But unto the Son, he said, thy throne, watch this, O God, is forever and ever. What? 
a scepter of righteousness is a scepter of thy king. So you're telling me God called Jesus God? Yeah. Why didn't he say a oh, God? He don't need to. Jesus already called that. I'm going to my God, which is your God. Well, you know, man, this is, this is some... This is some stuff that caused a lot of trouble in the church of Christ. And we could care less. There was a war in heaven. It's going to always be a war. If you got crooks in the camp, thou hast love righteousness and hate iniquity. He's going to make sure we understand. Therefore, God, even thy God, now the Lord is in agreement with the Father. Said, okay, therefore, God, that's me, your God. Had anointed thee with the oil of God's blood. I felt I made you what you are. I gave you that. I selected you. That's what anointing is. I separated you. I'm the father of lights and the father of spirits. Why that, so that, 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 that makes you hate God. See, that's what Jesus said. You hate me and my father. He said, I know y'all hating him. Y'all been hating him. A bunch of crooks don't do what he say. False old worship, lying, doing dirt. So you hated me and my father. I came to tell you you hate me and my father. But I'm giving you another chance. That's what he came to. I'm giving you another chance. The denomination world couldn't explain this if you put a gun to their head. They don't have the power, the capacity. Finally he says, And thou, Lord, in the beginning, had laid the foundation of earth. He tells okay, now you laid the foundation of earth. I did it by you. I know you did it because I did it by you. And the heavens are the works of thy hand. That's right. By me, you did this. So it's, just, it's just difficult to accept if you're not right. They shall perish with thy remains. They shall wax old as doth a garment. And as a vesture, thou shalt fold them up, and they shall be changed. But thou art the same, and thy years shall not fail. So Jesus, he said, okay, you, gonna, you do this, but, but, but that's because I empower you. I want to fold it up, and I'll tell you when to fold it up. Because he's a faithful son, not like some of us on here. Why so much zeal, Ozan? Because you don't, you don't think a lie can send your soul to hell? What were you in for you got baptized? You wasn't saved. You was lied to. You was told, wait till you get old or whatever. You could have died and went straight to hell. But God gave you mercy. Because he loves you. But he loves Christ more. He's a faithful son. You have to understand that, brother. It's okay for a child to be in the camp. Just don't let him teach. Let me make sure I say that again. It's okay for a child to be in the camp. Just don't let him teach. I don't care if you're on Zoom, church of Christ, in your house, anywhere. You tell him, he come out there, I want to say something. I got something to say. Okay, tell, speak. When you do, we're going to clean it up, whatever you say. I believe our church saying, okay, then you sit down, we're going to talk. I'm going to leave, then don't swing out. Bye. See, but you know when you can't do that? When you got some type of problem with the father too. Something he let happen to you, you're mad. You're mad. He let something happen to you. He's going to let you go to hell if you don't change and say, I was wrong for being angry with you. You are right and I am wrong. I'm going to fix it by your strength. He'll bless you. The gospel of Jesus Christ. I tell you what, let me tell you something, brother. I told you about the case where the man went to the denomination church. Now you make the decision on what you want to do. You got a long time to live on this earth. Some of us gonna live, man, so long, my goodness. But you better be right. I better be right. First Corinthians 15, 3, for I deliver to you first of all that which also I receive. What? How that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, that he was buried, he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. I don't need a commentary to believe it all. Well, I don't need a commentary to believe M A D E. Four letter word M A D E. Mark 16, 15. And then you have the goody, the goody two shoes saints that go, well, brother, everybody learn. Do you understand? The Hebrew writer is saying, I can't take you far because you got a problem with learning by Jesus. The Hebrew nation of saints, the Christians are told, I can't take you far in my writing because you got a problem with Jesus. You're not going nowhere in your walk. You stuck on go. You think you move because you're doing these and I think I'm, you're not going nowhere. 
in your walk now until you get the part about Jesus right. I think the Hebrew writer knows more than us being inspired by the Holy Ghost. Mark 16, 15, go into our world, peace of God to every creature. He that believes baptized shall be saved. He that believes not shall be damned. Oh, we love that. Oh, we lap that up like a dog in water in the desert. Oh, baptism, baptism, baptism. Then kill a saint after you birth him. Cut his throat. Burn him. Acts chapter 2, verse 36. Therefore let all the house of Israel know surely that God, there we go again, hath made that same Jesus somebody making somebody something now. Why not? I'm going to make him somebody now. Lord and Christ. He can't do it. He can't even be made the priest by himself. Why is that such a hatred for the father? Because he's so good. Some people hate their daddy. You're not my father. I tell you, I act stupid with you. Why you hate your daddy so? Okay, he sinned. This father never sinned. This father gave you life. He picked you up when everybody was ready to try to get rid of you. And he loves you. But you might be like Cain. You might hate him because of his righteousness. That's the only problem Cain had with Abel. You're just so right. I'm going to kill you. Don't be like that, brother. If that's in your heart, tell God, I, I'm so angry. I, was, I hated you at one time. Please forgive me. You know, Jeremiah went on to confess, man, I didn't even want to talk about you no more. So much grief. These people, man. Whew. But it was like, fire my bones. I hear people saying something stupid. I had to say something in Kroger's. I had to say something. It was in my bones. Now, when they heard this, they were pricking the heart, said to Peter, the rest of the men and brethren, what shall we do? Here's a Jewish nation that don't know what to do. How can a Jewish nation since the time coming out of Egypt, 400 years of wine to the Lord, let's start there, not know what to do because my mama was a whore and we became the children of a whore. So he divorced her and we've been on child support. And now he sent the son to come and give us heirship to what we lost. It's all throughout the Bible. It's all throughout the Bible. He says, then Peter said, to repent and be baptized every one in the name of Jesus Christ for the mission of sins. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost for the promises unto you and to your children and to all that are followed, even as men as the Lord our God shall call. And when men of the words did he testify and saw, saying, Save yourselves, meaning they are all lost from this untoward generation. Then they that glad to receive his word baptized, and the same day they were added to them about 3,000 souls. While well, they continue in, steadfast in the apostle doctrine, breaking of bread, and in prayer. I always try to say to the Lord, it's just a miracle you even speak to me. I mean, when I'm, I'm keeping my emotions together now. Man, it's just a miracle he speaks to me. To acknowledge I'm a saved. It's a miracle. That he would even want to save me. I can do nothing for him. The stuff I have, I don't deserve. Family, you, friends, things. Don't deserve none of it. It's just a miracle. I'd rather die right now than let somebody come take my ability to glorify the Lord. I'd rather die right now. I mean, with all my heart, just drop dead now. I don't care how you think we are together. If you don't glorify the Lord, I, I'm not going to be able to do nothing with you. I can't. I just can't. Acts 2, 4, 7, praising God, have faith with all the people, and the Lord added to the church daily, such as should be saved. Acts chapter 8, verse 36. As they went on their way, they came to certain water, and you said, see, here's water. What well, the enemy baptized, so baptism is not important. So why are you talking about in a desert, man? Not important, huh? Who's going to see it? Two people. One guy already traveled out of the Holy Ghost. He knows miraculous power. What does he need to see your baptism for? A denominational lie. Baptism of our sign of inward grace, a denominational lie that kills people. I'm so tired of people going to jail for murder when we won't put them in spiritual jail for killing people with their words. People get excited, people go out to jail. For what about the people that's killing people with their filthy teaching? So you got to put them in jail with your mouth. Oh, he's in jail. So you remember what you do, what you do. You go and you shackle. Do you know, did you know you were? 
a jail keeper? You didn't know you was a jail keeper? You didn't understand? I give you the keys. You go and lock up the preacher for lying. Click. He's in jail like they locked up the guy for killing people. But you let him out. Not you specifically. We let him out of jail. He's been nice, old Zan. Let him out. Better keep him shocked. Once he gets loose, he's going to tear you up. He's going to tear you up, brother. He looks like an angel of light, but he works for the devil. I'm telling you, God help us. As they went away to can of certain water, yeah. he wants to be baptized. Why? Is it because he's hot, just want to cool off? Philip said, if thou believe it, all thou hot, thou mess. And answer said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Why is that so important? Because that's the statement he said, you're my son. I made you that. And I'm your father. That's the difference in me, you, and everything else. That's the difference in them. They're less than you. Because you're my only son. Philip said, if thou believe with all thy heart, thou mayest. He said, I believe Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He commanded the chance to stand still. They went down both to the water by Philip and the unit, and he baptized him. The rejoicing begins. What happens in the baptism is so special. 1 Corinthians 12, 13, for by one spirit are we all baptized into one body, whether Jew or Gentile, bond or free, have all been made to drink into one spirit. Will it save me? 1 Peter 3, 21. The like figure went to even baptisms also. Now save us. Not the putting away of the flesh, but the answer of a good conscience to our God by the resurrection of Jesus Christ, who is gone in heaven. Where is he at? Middle child. No, on the right hand of God. Has another one say on the right hand of God. Angel, authority, and powers being made subject unto him. He's still on the right. You believe that. God will help you to understand. And me. Revelation 2.10. Fear none of those things but thou shalt suffer. Oh, you're going to suffer some stuff. The whole of the devil shall cast some of you into prison. That you may be tried. You shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death. I will give thee a crown of life. Man. Such a blessing to be in a large church. It's such a blessing to know the truth. It's such a blessing to know when you leave out this building, if you don't die in this building, that you can get in that car. And if you get killed on the way out, you're safe. Such a blessing. It's a miracle. Some of you are young. You got your whole life to walk with the Lord. I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy for you. I just can't imagine the glory that you're going to bring to the Lord. I can't imagine the joy you're going to experience. For the rest of your life, I'll be dead and gone. But you're going to be living, brethren. Young people. Man, you're going to have such a lovely walk. Knowing God is with you all the way. And then after eternal life. Those that are of age like myself, keep walking. You got a lot more to do. You got more souls to save. Grandchildren to love and save. I can't tell the number of people out here. My grandmama, my grandmama, my grandmama, my grandma, my grandpa, my grandpa took me to the church of Christ. Brother Charles Curtis said, man, my grandparents, I was just blessed. They pulled me aside, showed me the way. He almost didn't make it. But God said, no. Nah. Mm -mm. Charles Curtis was supposed to die. The doctors called the family together. Make your peace with him. He's not going to make it. He said he knew no knowledge of it. Plans were made. When he awoke, they told him. And he called us. He said, I'm ready to get baptized. He said, God, let me know, man. I, you could have left. It would have been old for you. Very faithful. Can't walk. Very faithful. Not mad. You go see him smiling. Can't walk. Can't get up and get a cup of water. But he won't go to church every Sunday. Some of us got two good legs. God help us if you follow us in church on Sunday. Some of us will take them two good legs. I'm finna drop a bomb and try to hit our mama. Y'all hear me? God help gonna get you. He gonna get you so good. He gonna get you. Should take them two legs and go to church. 
Get your raggedy life together. Because you tore up from the floor up. Don't try to hit your mom. Are you a fool? Do you want to go to hell? Are you looking for an early exit? It's okay though. God is still on the throne. You need to get baptized. Stay standing. This is a message. Touch a little V-shaped object. Opens up several phone numbers. You can call any one of them. They'll tell you what to do. Don't kill your baby. Don't kill yourself. Don't kill your relationship with your family. Don't run away from home. Call the number and tell them. Hotline not going to do nothing but tell you a bunch of words and pray for you and nobody pray going, not even there. God don't know neither one of you. Call the number. Ask God to help you. He will. Whatever you need, come now. We go. We stand singing Elvis' invitation. Softly and tenderly, Jesus is coming, calling for you and for me. See on the portals, He's waiting and watching. Maybe see. Watching for you and 